Welcome to this presentation and thank you for tuning in. There are some important formulae I'd like you to commit to memory as you prepare for your ASCP exam. Uh, the ones I've chosen are formulae that are, are related to laboratory operations and uh, in particular KISU issues. Here they are. I'd like you to remember the following. One, coefficient of variation, coefficient of variation, often abbreviated as uh, CV expressed in percentage. Second one is the standard deviation, standard deviation or abbreviated as SD. And then the third one is a collection of both the mean, the median, median, and then the mode. Now, of this collection, you have the CV, the standard deviation, and then the mean, uh, mostly reflected in today's modern analyzers. Most of the analyzers you use, for instance, in hematology, have a Levy-Jennings chart that uh, enables you to look at the shifts and trends in your results as you compare your, your data with the control results and then the established means you've set. And, um, what that does is that you hardly ever have to do this manually, calculate the CV or the standard deviation, or even the mean. But uh, for the purpose of this exam, you will be required to do uh, a computation of this sort, either these or that or that. So let's give a shot at one of them. Here is equation here that borders on CV. It says the data obtained from an LJ Levy Jennings chart for total protein gave a mean of 6.2 grams per deciliter. Now with a 2D, two standard deviation of 0 0.8 grams per DL and N equals 21, calculate the coefficient of variation. Well, Let's put this aside for a while. Here is a formula you need to commit to memory. The coefficient of variation expressed as a percentage is given by the relationship, the ratio of the standard deviation divided by the mean. So in this calculation, in this question rather, we are given that the standard deviation is um, 0 0.8 grams two standard deviation. What we need is one standard deviation. So what we have here will be um, what we have divided by two. We were given two standard deviation of 0 0.8. So what we need is 0 0.4 divided by the mean. And we're told that the mean is 6.2. If you compute that in your calculator and multiply that by 100, sorry, to convert it to percentages, what you will get is 6.5%, um, 6.5%, and that, that will be your answer. Now, this is very simple. If you don't know this formula by heart, then you can't compute it. And even though the exam is um, uh, one and a half minutes per question, which is 90 seconds. If you are given 900 seconds, you may not be able to compute it if you don't know this formula. So the takeaway here is that you got to memorize, commit this to memory. And one sure way of doing this, I've always emphasized, is to create a flashcard of this sort. And on the flip side, you can make some notes or some of this type of example here 
to remind you of um, how you know what you need to do okay now another thing I need to point out here is the fact that um, I deliberately put um, 2SD here rather than 1SD and so it requires that you be careful the exam requires that you come in calm and composed number two that you think critically the exam calls for critical thinking now what if you knew this formula but didn't pay attention to detail the detail here is 2SD and you jumped on it and then put 0 0.8 here now you will get this first answer here which is correct I mean incorrect 12.9 is for those who did not pay attention to the fact that this is 1SD and not 2SD. If you put 0 0.8 there directly, what you will get is this answer. But the correct answer is this, number B. And so that is the takeaway. First takeaway is that you make some flashcards. Second takeaway is that you be careful as you uh, approach these questions. The next important formula I'd like you to commit to memory is the standard deviation. The standard deviation is obtained by finding the square root of the sum of the numbers or the difference between the, each number from the mean squared divided by the number of values. Now an illustration would uh, help make it much simpler. Let us have, by way of example, a set of numbers such as 2, 4, 6, 8, and then 10. Alright, I could make these numbers look a little more intimidating by using units, attaching units to them. Grams per liter, milligrams per liter, millimoles per deciliter and so on and so forth but we'll keep them simple the first step to take is to calculate the mean step one find the mean the mean is found by adding up these numbers and divided by dividing by the number of values so let's add them up. 2 plus 4 is 6, plus 6 is 12, 12 plus 8 is 20, 20 plus 10 is 30. So the total is 30. You divide it by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 values. So you get 30 divided by 5 is 6. So the mean is 6. The next step to take is to uh, calculate the deviations of each value point from the mean and squaring it. Uh, calculate this x minus the mean squared. Now let's go over here where we'll find a little more space to do that okay now the first number here is 2 so we'll say 2 minus 6 and then we'll square it 2 minus 6 is the mean and we'll square it so what we'll get is minus 4 squared and that will give us 16. All right. The next one is 4 minus 6 squared. And that will give us minus 2 squared. And that will be 4. By the way, notice a minus number times a minus number translates to a, a plus number. A minus 2 times a minus 2 becomes plus 4. And that's why we have them this way. The next number to use is 6. So we say 6 minus 6, the mean, squared. 6 minus 6 is 0, squared. 0 squared is 0. 
the next number is 8. 8 minus the mean, which is 6 squared. And that will be 2 squared. And that will be 4. The next number and final number will be 10. 10 minus the mean, which is 6 squared. And that will be 4 squared. And that will be 16. Now, this sign here, sigma, means the sum of. So you add up all of these. 16 plus 4 is 20 plus 0 is 20 plus 4 is 24 plus 16 is 40. So the sum here of these is what you get here. We are almost done. Therefore, the SD, the standard deviation, according to this formula, will be the square root of whatever you have here. In this case, is 40 divided by n. Divided by uh, n here will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five values. So this also becomes the square root of 5 into 40 is 8. And finally, the answer will be when you use your calculator. It will be 2.8. And that is the answer. So that's how to use this formula. Uh, it is important that you have this in your flashcard. And then use this simple set of numbers here. And then try to do it a couple of times. I encourage you to do it at least three times on your own. And then arrive at this answer. And that will give you, that will give you the assurance that you are on the right track. And so with this, uh, I conclude this presentation. I wish you the very best of luck as you prepare for your exams. Thank you.